All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and well, let's talk about the goopy stuff. So let's talk sealants. Now this is something I got a question recently. Somebody messaged me and was asking about the proper sealant for a certain type of job, and I responded with the right kind of sealant. So I figured it would make a good video. So let's talk, well, sealants. Now the main one we're gonna deal with in this industry is our TV, room temperature vulcanizing sealant. Chances are most shops use something like this, Permatex Ultra Gray Gasket Maker High Torque. Well, I don't have a high opinion of it, but let's talk about the different types. Now there's black, there's gray, there's blue, there's you know, copper, ultra copper, green, red, yada, yada, yada. It's important to match the correct sealant for the application you're doing. That's why service information is important. So I'm old, so I want to mention this, but back in the day there was non-O2 sensor safe RTV and then there was O2 sensor safe sealant. Well, we don't have that problem anymore. The only way you're getting not stuff that's safe is you're shopping at Home Depot and getting silicone. So don't do that. <laughs> if you're buying retail or factory sealants, they're O2 sensor safe. They just, that's the, the fact of the matter is. Now let's talk about the types. You've got just your standard gray and black. Now, there's gonna be some chemical differences between them. And I'll probably put up a graphic from Permatex, but really gray and black for the most part are gonna be fairly interchangeable. There's also white, there's Honda Bond, there's you know brands that are different colors, but all it is is dyes there's some differences in the chemicals, we'll get to that. But for the most part, it's dyes or carbon that's added to the sealant to make it a certain color or to add some rigidity to the sealant. That's what the carbon's for, at least in my opinion. I'm not a chemist, so, you know, anything I say about chemistry is right out the butt. So take it with a grain of salt. Everybody kind of has their favorite sealant. Around here, this shop, me personally, my favorite is the three bond 1207B. This would be Toyota form and place gasket. Same company makes it for them. They make it for several other companies and it's just rebranded with that factory's thing. And this is what we can get from World Pack. So we stock it. This is our preferred RTV. The only reason I have this is it got ordered by mistake and well, pain in the butt to return, so I said screw it. And that's kind of my opinion of it. RTVs are supposed to be, now this is per a NAPA class that I took, you're supposed to put a thin bead on, light, clean surfaces, lightly torque it, let it sit overnight, or yeah, lightly torque it, let it sit overnight, and then retorque it in the morning. Yeah, that happens. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why we like the Toyota stuff, because, well, it seals fast. I mean, bolt it up, and you could really pour oil in there. I don't like to, but you could, and it would seal, and it would seal really well, and that's the preferences I have for a farm and place gasket or three bond, but there's different types of sealants. The sealant I was asked about was for the water jackets on Toyota, specifically a Tacoma or something, I forget, but it was for, you know, going into a water jacket. Now, if you're an old guy like me, you remember the old Chevy head bolts where you had to put sealant on them kind of the same thing, except, well, not a head bolt. That sealant is formulated specifically for dealing with coolant. There is a reason for it because, well, 
is designed to deal with coolant. There's just like there's specific ones for gear oil, there are specific ones for transmission pans. And I'm gonna use Toyota as an example of all of them. I don't know if they've got, I'm not sure if they've got gear oil ones, but I know Chrysler does, Permatex does, I think GM does, but don't quote me on that. But there's reasons for it. Certain types of automotive fluids will react with the RTV and may cause premature failure. That's why it's important to use certain sealants with certain fluids. That's why Toyota specifies different sealants. A lot of other manufacturers do as well. So that's why you specifically get a sealant that works with the job you're doing. Do you have to go with, oh, I'm doing a Volkswagen oil pan. I got to get the Volkswagen sealant. No, we use that Toyota stuff. Literally, other than special circumstances, that's 95% of what we use is the form and place gasket. Now you can take that with a grain of salt because, well, <laughs> your mileage will vary. Some guys love this, the Permatec stuff. I personally don't. I've kind of avoided it for many years because I just don't think it's that good. You know, I've heard guys, you know, talk about the right stuff. I've not had good luck with the right stuff at all. One, the cans tend to go bad really quickly in my experience. And I've just not been happy with the job they've done sealing, i.e. having to fix it again. And I have lots of experience doing, you know, RTV gaskets. I've done a bunch of them. Okay, now let's talk proper usage. Now you can get something like this Valco squeeze handle for your tubes and make sure you squeeze a little bit out because that's your plug to seal it so you can reuse it. Or, I'm out of it right now, but you can get a caulking gun of sealant. Uh, we oftentimes have the three bond stuff and a caulking tube. If I'm doing a big job, that's what I'll get. If I'm doing a big job and I'm going to use lots of RTV, well, it makes more sense. But, you know, and it's a little, actually, I think a little more easier to control than squeezing a tube, even with the little squeeze handle. It's gasket or RTV, not both. Not both, ever. RTV on a gasket is used for Parting lines, you know, at the corners or where a front cover meets for the valve cover, specified by manufacturer, only there. Don't goop up the gasket. It's just going to make it leak. Use the gasket. Use quality gaskets and they don't leak. So we've talked about RTV. We've talked about the proper use of it. Let's talk Loctite. Loctite comes in a bunch of different flavors as well. You, you see a, a trend there? You got blue, you got green, and then you got red. Simply put, green is for press fit things that aren't press fit enough. It's for retaining things. Uh, blue is your general usage, you know, don't want it to come out, but you know, it will come out when you want it to. Red is when you don't ever want it to come out again without heat or a lot of pain in the butt, which is usually where you use it and then have to warranty a part. Proper usage of that is it's Loctite. Put a little bit on, torque it to spec, you're done. It seals in the absence of air. That's how it works. You run it back out, put more Loctite on unless there's still a lot on there because you put too much on. But red Loctite is a pain in the butt to get out. So generally, other than inner tie rod ends and stuff critical like that, I generally just use blue. But, you know, if it's you're worried about a uh, caliper bracket coming out, use red because you can put heat on it pretty easily. You think red Loctite? Think heat because fire because that's the easiest way to let that loose, is to heat it up. Now let's talk, well, anaerobic sealant. 
anaerobic sealant is kind of an interesting chemical. It cures in the absence of oxygen. It's only used for mating two machine surfaces together, like cam covers. That's the most common use for it. Now I've got some anaerobic sealant here. This is by E-Ring. Don't know where I've had it, how long I've had it. I probably wouldn't use it. But that's what it's for. That's the only reason for its existence is to seal things that are machined together that are bolted up and you don't, won't have leaks. You know, Volvo cam covers, Volkswagen cam covers, you know, where it's holding the cams and machine surfaces, not the actual valve cover. I'm talking about cam covers. Use it an appropriate amount. Think about it, your machine surface to a machine surface. You don't want half a gallon on there. In fact, in Volvo service procedure for some of the older engines, haven't looked it up in a while because I haven't had to reseal one of those. They actually recommend a paint roller kind of thing to roll the sealant out onto the cam covers. You don't need a lot. I mean, you need, to, you need you know, coverage, but you don't need a you know, gallon of it spread all over the place because it's just going to go places it doesn't need to be. All right, now there's a couple other, you know, sealants we're going to talk about. You know, there's Teflon tape, Teflon paste for sealing threads. It's what we used to use on Chevy head blocks is the liquid stuff. You know, there's situations where that is a much better idea than, you know, using RTV is like, you know, the pipes that screw into water pumps. That's proper use for it. Stuff like that. You know, the old valve cover. Use the right sealant. It's in your service information what sealant to use. You know, I'll put the, the, the chart up from Permatex. It's going to be an okay guide. I don't endorse Permatex, you know, for sealants, but as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.